What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, for all you new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm Barbas. So, my buddy came over last night and he dropped off this car. It's not a Honda. Let you guys take a look. Wow, it looks so dark in here. Basically, it's a 95 Neon RT. It needs a lot of help on the body wise. But he's had it for many years. Many, many years he's owned this car for. And he's done a whole bunch of different modifications slowly. So he's got the rear conversion for the SRT4 disc brakes in the back. He's got the SRT4 wheels. Can't really see it. It's way too dark in here. He's got coilovers all around. Everything is name brand stuff. He's got the motor is fully built. High compression motor. Do overhead cam. And a naturally aspirated. So basically, what I'm going to do is bring this car back to life. As you guys can see back here, what it looks like. After I get the good clean, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding the whole car down. And we are going to do a Rust-Oleum paint job on this car. Alright you guys, so uh, <coughs> today's day after, I went ahead and pushed the car out. So you can see it's raining pretty bad right now. I pushed the neon out before the rain showed up and I went ahead let me show you over here I washed the whole thing down and I cleaned the motor for him you can't really see it's still kinda dark but I charged up his battery, cleaned up the motor, and I started sanding. I did buy a really nice mask that I've been wearing. It's this right here. So I started sanding. You guys can see the difference. I did the whole pillar right here. I still gotta do the roof. I did the trunk. It's taken me about, I would say, about an hour. I've been hitting it off with the machine and it's taken longer because of the fact that it was uh, plastic dipped at one point. So basically, it wasn't like thick enough where you could just peel it off. It's just coming off in little pieces. So that's kind of a pain. Yeah, I think once I sand it all down, the lighting is going to get better. Just look at this side. You could tell where it's really dark and then where I've actually sanded down. So I'm going to continue sanding and I will add the clip in about a second. 
I took you guys' advice. How do you like the mask? Let me know in the comments below. I went ahead and I did the door. So now I got the back quarter panel, the door, the trunk, and half of the roof. I still gotta do the pillar going down. And in here, I gotta get all this where the molding used to go. Um, it looks like it still has like tape right there. I'm gonna have to use the heat gun, get all that sticky stuff off. But it's coming off really good. And you guys can see the lighting, how big of a difference compared to that really dark color that's in the front. I also went back here and I started to fill in little holes that he had. He used to have like a wing back here. So I started filling in all the holes. So there's little holes here, there's little holes here, here, and here. Slowly, but it's getting there. I think if I do an hour or two hours every day, this car should be ready by Sunday for a paint job. This is just a small little video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. On my next video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start recording myself actually sanding so you guys can see the process and fast motion. So, till my next video, catch you guys on the next episode. Thank you.